Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome dear learners this is a video for the subject of education for the course of bachelors in education and for the paper of educational technology part 2 we are going to discuss a topic which is related to communication and interaction and in this lecture we will be discussing regarding the media of communication this video lecture is recorded by dr iram khan the course coordinator and the presenter of this video is dr iram khan from jamia millia islamia new delhi the academic expert or the reviewer of this video is professor jaseem ahmed from jamia millia islamia new delhi this video is produced under the project dth swayam prabha channels of ministry of education government of india hello dear students i am dr iram khan assistant professor at institute of advanced studies in education faculty of education jamia millia islamia new delhi today we will be discussing a topic related to communication and interaction and the topic is based on media of communication let us start this discussion first with the objectives of the session the objectives of this session are to discuss the different media of communication and to elaborate the appropriateness of using the respective media for effective communication let us discuss the different media for communication it is a well known fact or a, a something which is properly known to all of us that a teacher who can communicate well is going to get success in the process of teaching learning inside a classroom or and even outside the classroom processes but the success of the teacher is very much dependent upon the success of the learner's power of communication too because as a sender once the teacher is communicating as the receiver if the learner is not receiving it well then the entire process the uh, the success of the process is going to get affected so it is very important for the sender as well the receiver and in this case the sender is the teacher and the receiver is the student to be very much active in this process of communication and the success depends on the activeness of both the components and the success of the task very much depends on the appropriateness of the media of communication too so we have to see that what exactly are those media or the forms of media which are uh, here responsible for the success of this process of communication in the classroom or even outside the classroom we have already discussed the role of the media and the channel of communication in the ongoing communication process with reference to the two distinctive forms of media and what are those they are the verbal and the non verbal media and we can also see that in general we can classify the media of communication as verbal and non verbal media forms however in particular a different type of classification approach may also be adopted for describing various types of media used in the communication process in this particular session we will be discussing in detail about all those uh, different types of the media which are uh, important here in the process of communication the first and foremost communication media can be considered as the audio media in a communication process both the communicator and the receiver may rely on the audio media only it means in a classroom situation the teacher may communicate only through verbalization or lecturing and the students may receive the communicated knowledge only through hearing here you can see that the role of hearing the role of making this audio communication is how much important the communication through any of the devices like the radio tape recorder and any other device nowadays we have got uh, a different type of audio players 
which can also be used for playing the audio recorded clips. They also provide the examples of the various forms of audio media. So we should always be aware of that the audio media is very much important while the process of communication, both for the side of the sender as well as the receiver. The next form is the visual media. The classroom communication may involve only visual media for the required transmission and receiving of the communication. Here, why I'm saying only? Because at times only demonstrations are taking place and uh, the teachers may not uh, speak up. So we can say that if there is a process where only demonstration is happening and not uh, the audio media is being used, then also the visual media uh, can be effectively used and can be um, in a way able to uh, get this communication done. A learner may receive information or message by reading out a written or printed statement or through the visual interpretation of the graphic material. Maybe in this case, we can see that the chart or in any model or any diagram or graphs or any type of such pictorial depiction can be one of those visual interpretations, uh, which can be uh, read or which can be um, like uh, by using those uh, media forms, we can uh, try to understand and we can comprehend the topic which is being taught. So a student may grasp the content material through the written uh, form or uh, maybe uh, once the teacher is writing the things on the blackboard or the whiteboard, uh, the student can actually see and grasp the material which is being transacted by the teacher. The communication through the newspapers or magazine, books, or maybe uh, whatever can be seen and read. Maybe it can be in the form of a virtual uh, method or maybe in a print form can be actually uh, considered as the form coming under the visual media. As well as the learning through demonstration, uh, which happens in the classroom or in the laboratory or any sort of place are also carried out through this visual media. So the visual media is again a very important form of media. The next is the audio visual media. In most of the occasions, the communication in the classroom or all those uh, activities which are happening in the day to day situations in general carried out through a combination of audio and visual media. So at, this is the most uh, uh, evident way when you can find a teacher speaking up and also writing on a blackboard or demonstrating an activity and also uh, explaining it uh, by verbalization or by uh, using words. So when the teacher writes on the blackboard, draws a diagram, displays a model or graphic demonstrations on the demonstration table, this teacher also make, uh, makes use of uh, his or her skill of narration or explanation, lecturing and exposition along with his or her visual display. So these visual uh, things which, are, which the teacher is displaying as well as those visual displays, she is also narrating the explanations. So no doubt this is something which is going to uh, to place a very effective form of teaching learning process. So this audiovisual media proves more effective than the use of the only audio or only visual media for communication. This is something which, which uh, is evident and can be seen anywhere in any of the classrooms. So audiovisual media always is considered to be better than the individual audio or individual visual media. The next is the multi-sensory media. We all know that the senses, our sense organs, they are all said to be the gateway of knowledge. So each of the five senses, which, which are the sight, the sense of sight, the sense of hearing, the sense of smell, taste and touch, they separately or in combination may work well as an effective media for the communication process. 
and as a result if we are able to make use of the different types of media and aid material involving as many senses or as many sense organs as possible we will certainly bring better results in the teaching learning communication process so the key is that when you are teaching try to uh, to make use of as many sense organs of a child as possible so that the comprehension of the topics are going to get more and more effectively done so using multiple sensory organs or multi sensory media is uh, considered to be a better form of the uh, usage of communication media or media uh, various forms of using the media uh, for uh, the process of communication the next is the mass media a certain type of communication media proves useful in carrying out communication with the masses when we are dealing with a lot of people at the same time and how this can be done it can be done by the use of different uh, uh, devices or different equipment like radio television uh, by the use of videos cinema uh, movies or films then the print media print media like the books newspapers and magazines and the internet communication in the form of email video conferencing teleconferencing satellite communication and transmission various uh, tv programs we we uh, used to get a lot of educational programs on the tv all these come in the provision of the means and media of mass communication the online education and the correspondence courses run by many institutions they all make use of the mass media in a quite formal and organized way and nowadays uh, we have got a new uh, way of teaching and learning and that is done through the uh, popularization of massive open online courses and that is also uh, possible the massive open online courses which are the courses which can be uh, done by the masses at the same time and that is only possible because of the usage of the internet led mass media the moocs are nowadays changing the entire scenario of the educational arena because now studying or uh, from a prestigious university or college which is even placed overseas is possible for anybody anywhere sitting in a uh, place or uh, which is uh, far from that particular uh, university or college is now not a constraint because of this uh, massive op open online courses we can uh, earn our certificates our degrees from the universities and colleges even from the uh, which are situated even in the abroad so mass media's role is tremendous and it has got a lot of power now when we talk about the mass media we can bifurcate it into uh, different forms and the first form which i wish to mention here is the print media print media is a form of mass media and as the name suggests the news or information is shared through the printed publications the printed media is the oldest means of sharing information news or any type of knowledge in printed media the news or information is published in hard copy and then it is released which is more reader friendly many types of print media are there and we all are very much aware of that how much powerful this printed materials are and how important they are in the uh, process of educating people uh, imparting education and knowledge to people the various forms of print media include newspapers magazines journals different forms of books like the reference books the coffee table books the textbooks and even many other forms in print media uh there are uh, a lot of live discussions or live shows live reporting uh, all these things are not possible because uh, this print media has got the uh, the 
facility of uh, getting printed and once the printing is over then if we want to add something it is not possible so there are certain uh, simple drawbacks which we can see that uh, are there in the print media but still they, it has got immense power and uh, because of this uh, uh, interval update method like if we want to uh, update something then we have to wait for a while once the book is going to be reprinted or uh, once the newspaper uh, is print uh, like is uh, printed and it is released then we have to wait for another uh, edition to come so this is the only constraint but this interval update method is also good and it uh, uh, adds value to the print media and uh, this is considered to be a very important form and very effective form of mass media the next is the electronic media electronic media is again the form of mass media and as the name suggests the news or information uh, which is shared here in this electronic media is through the different electronic mediums electronic media is the advanced means of sharing information or news in electronic media the news or information is uploaded or broadcasted and then it can be viewed through the different electronic mediums which is more uh, viewer friendly like if we are viewing some news over a television or maybe on the laptop or on our mobile phones we can actually uh, search and we can go for that particular news which we want to uh, to actually uh, go ahead and uh, listen so this is something which provide us immense choice and many types of electronic media include uh, the televisions the like various news channels which are up on the uh, television then the mobile apps there are many dedicated mobile apps for the news channels and also all those uh, electronic media live shows live discussions live reporting is also possible uh, because there is this uh, entire system of electronic media is based on immediate update method so if there is a news update we cannot go for updating it uh, at the same time in the print media but it can be updated immediately in this electronic media so you can see that how refreshed and how uh, immediate actions are taken here in the electronic uh, media and that's why uh, we can see that uh, they are very uh, kind of updated and can be relied for the updated news so this is another form of the mass media the next is the social media that can also be considered as the uh, various forms coming under the category of uh, the mass media forms uh, social media basically is a computer based technology that facilitates the sharing of ideas thoughts and information through the building of virtual networks and communities and by design if we if we look towards the design of the social media we can find that it is internet based totally internet based and it gives users the quick electronic communication of the content so there is no any time lapse if we want to communicate something through the social media uh, at the same time it can be communicated to the person to whom we want to communicate so the content includes personal information then there can be many other things which we want to share in the form of documents videos photos interactive objects and many other things like many more uh, things can be shared even nowadays uh, people are uh, creating different mobile apps they are sharing it and also the the games because the gaming culture is very much in and people are uh, nowadays even using the social media for playing games so that is also one of those usages of social media the users are engaged uh, like they are very much engaged with the social media uh, why like uh, uh, how how this engagement can be uh, done by the 
uh, involvement of many other devices like the computers, the tablets, smartphones, or even uh, by the use of web-based software or applications on these devices. So uh, we can see that the power of social media is somehow somewhat changing the world. We are connected with the uh, fraternity who is sitting anywhere in the world by the social media. There are uh, many uh, social media based uh, uh, websites and uh, uh, web places which are considered to be used for uh, recruitment purposes, for connecting the professionals. They get to know how to, uh, to go for uh, the, uh, for sharing the, uh, the process of recruitment or maybe how to connect with the same type of people uh, with whom they can work even in future. So there are many social media sites and places uh, which are nowadays used by the public for connecting with the world. Then the next we can consider as the multimedia. We have seen the multisensory approach. Now we have to see that what exactly is multimedia. A communication process may be termed as based on the multimedia approach when it employs a number of media in a planned and organized combination for deriving the maximum output in a particular communication situation. And most of the well-organized programs of the reputed open education or distance education institutions, uh, they all are running through the multimedia approach adapted or adopted for the interaction with the learners. To name a few, uh, there are many central universities uh, which run the distance education programs. They all use this multimedia approach. So in many of the advanced countries like the US or the UK, Australia and Canada, uh, this multimedia approach is used in a very effective way for carrying out a number of online courses. And the advent of the massive open online courses and the, those course uh, uh, platforms are one of those uh, uh, which can be uh, said to be using this multimedia approach because you can find the videos, you can find the text part, you can find the audio material and even the live interactions coming up here on these uh, social media uh, platforms which are considered to be uh, the course providing platforms, the massive open online uh, platforms. So the multimedia, the power of multimedia is immense, which uses various forms of media to be uh, like uh, for, for the process of imparting education. So this was all about today. We have seen the different forms of uh, media which can be used for the process of uh, making the communication. We have seen the audio media, the visual media, the audio visual media, the multi-sensory media, then the mass media. And under the mass media, we saw uh, the, uh, the, the, the other forms of mass media, the print media, then the social media. And also we have seen the electronic media. And then we also uh, have discussed the, uh, the role and the power of multimedia. So these are the powerful channels or media for communication, which can be used for making the process of communication uh, possible. Without using a media, we can't make the communication. So it is an essential and compulsory part of the process of communication. These are few of those references and the links uh, which were used for the preparation of the session. You can also go ahead and read more. This is all for today. We will see each other in another session, another time. Thank you so much. Dear learners, you are watching a video on communication and interaction. And in this lecture, we discussed about the media of communication. This video lecture was recorded by faculty at home during the homebound situation of COVID-19 pandemic using minimal technical resources. Technical errors, if any, are unintentional and may please be ignored. 
For any queries with regard to this lecture or broadcast, kindly send your email to techsupport at dth.ac.in. Thank you so much.